guys, it's Ashley from Bacalogs Anonymous with another book talk coming to you. And that would be Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. He is the author of the book The Duff, The Designated, Designated Ugly Fat Friend, which I read sometime around the sometime when it came out, around the time it came out. And I didn't personally like it. I know a lot of people did. I just I don't know it was just blah for me, I think. I don't, I just didn't connect with the characters I, and the story, I, I don't know what it was. And so, kind of after that, I was like, I don't really know if I'll enjoy any of her other books. So I've just kind of put them aside, even though I did have some. And then I decided, you know what, maybe I'll give her another try. Maybe I should try another one of the books. And this is a tiny book, and I was like, what the heck? So we're going to try it. <clears throat> and this is also, it says that it's a retelling of another, it's a reimagining of uh, Aristophanes' Lystrata. If I said that right, I probably didn't. Which is a battle of boys against girls, I guess, kind of, in a way. <laughs> And so, that's basically what this book, this book is about is girls versus boys. And, yeah, I was not, I don't know, with the way it looked, like the cover and, I don't know, I just, I assumed it was like a, like a sports related kind of book, which it kind of is, but it, that's not the main, main thing about it. So, yeah, it's, um, the main character is Lisa, who is dating one of the football, well, I think the quarterback, actually, and so in the beginning, they're, you know, in the car and everything, and somebody starts th throwing eggs at it or something, so her boyfriend gets out of the car and chases them, which kind of starts the story and starts the reasoning behind Lisa's crusade, I guess maybe you could call it, I don't know, but, so yeah, she is fed up with her boyfriend always doing these pranks and always pulling these pranks on the soccer players, so it's football players against soccer players. And it's been going on for as long as anyone can remember, and they don't know why it was going on anymore. And she's just tired of it because he pays more attention to that and that feud than he does to her. There you go. I mean, that's pretty much what it's about. And so she's trying to think of a reason or think of something to persuade him to stop this feud between these two teams at the school, at their own school, and so she starts getting the help of some of the football players' girlfriends and the soccer player girlfriends, and just, she sits them down and says, hey, this is what we're going to do, or this is what sounds good, and hopefully this is what'll stop the guys from feuding with each other and paying attention to us, and that is a no no sex, no nothing, no kissing, anything like that with them until they give up the feud. So we'll see how well that actually turns out. And I mean, it's, it's kind of I, I don't know, it's the, the wet, I was just, I enjoyed, the, let's just say I enjoyed this story more than I did The Duff, I enjoyed some of the characters more than I did in The Duff, but I didn't really enjoy Lisa, the main character for some reason, I just, I don't, didn't really care for her, and I just thought, I understand where she's coming from and why she wants to be paid attention to, but going about it maybe the wrong way and getting everyone else involved maybe I don't know it's just I don't really enjoy that part 
I did, however, enjoy her best friend. Like, I don't know why. She, it's just... her friend Chloe like I, I don't know what it was about Chloe maybe it's because Chloe had this I don't give a uh, I don't give a crap attitude and this you know if people are going to talk talk crap about me let them they're going to start rumors let them I know what's true and I'm me and I'm gonna do me you know and that's pretty much her friend's attitude and I just I wish I could have that attitude sometimes but I don't and I just, and even though they're two completely different people and they do two completely different things, her friends stood by her side and took the pact with her to having no sex, no anything. And, you know, yeah, even though Chloe was known as the slut around the school. And I just, I don't know, there's something about Chloe that I just enjoyed more. And, yeah. I enjoyed her more. I enjoyed the, um, I enjoyed Cash more, which is, Cash is the, a player from the soccer team who also started working at the library with Lisa, who becomes kind of, you can kind of tell that there's this, these feelings for, my hair's messed up, um, feelings between Cash and Lisa that never happen. But I just, I liked Cash a lot more than I liked anybody else, too. I don't know why. I was rooting for Lisa to finally just be like, you know what? I'm getting rid of this Randy dude, and we're going for Cash. Just because. I don't know. So, yeah. And then Cash kind of, um, he doesn't have any girl. He doesn't have a girlfriend on either. You know, he doesn't have a girlfriend. So, He's not affected by the strike that they're going on, and he's more of a tease and all this anyways, and he doesn't give any of the girls at the school the time of day or anything like that. So he was the perfect one to take over the boys once the boys and everybody found out what the girls were doing. So Cash became like the guy's leader in this feud between the girls and the boys now instead of, you know, soccer and the football players, which is a good thing because it kind of brought the football and the soccer team together and stopped that feuding and he had his reasons for doing what he did so it's just I don't know Cash and Chloe are my favorites and I just found Lisa to be a bit whiny at times and I don't know just not very truthful once other stuff started lighting out and getting out into the open so yeah but I mean I I would probably give another one for books to try just to see how it goes from there and see because I liked one book the other one I didn't like so who knows it's a, kind of a 50 50 thing for me but let me know if you've read any of her other books I know I have lol lying out loud on my kindle which I might read and I also know she's got a, like, Midnight Summers, or Midnight Mares, or I don't know. She's got another book, too, that I don't have, so we'll see. Let me know if you've read any of the other books besides The Duff or this one, and what you thought about it. And I will see you guys next time.